This video is brought to you by World of Myths, a new strategy card game where you can play as a leader from your favorite mythology, gain reputation and prove yourself worthy, defeat your opponent by destroying gods or their temples. Jump into the gameplay by clicking the link down below. I'm excited to see you on the battlefield. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Brawl in MTG Arena. So excited for this. Uh, so this is number two. I'm going through all of the decks uh, and the next one is Savage Hunter, I think is the name here. I wish I could change the card back. I, I got the pre-order uh, so I have a different card back now. Anyway, so Corval Bay Curse King uh, and is this a Dragon Noble? Noble as a, as a type. I've not seen that. Uh, but I prefer mana costs black, red, and green, so Jun colors, a 4-4 four, four flying dragon. Whenever he enters a battlefield or attacks, sacrifice another permanent. When you sacrifice a permanent, put a plus one plus encounter onto him and draw a card. So kind of like uh, Bantu. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's in here. No, it's not in here. Uh, but the uh, uh, God Eternal Bantu, very similar type of thing if you also are growing this guy to be a massive flyer at the same time, which is really good and really powerful. Um, you can only sacrifice one other permanent each time he enters it or attacks. And so you can, you're basically, when you're swinging in with him, he should be a 6-6. Six, six. And it's any permanent, so you can sacrifice lands to do this as well, which I think oftentimes probably will be useful. I'm interested to finally try out food. Anyway, so let's go through the deck real quick, and then we're going to get into gameplay. I'll put the, the link down to when the gameplay starts down below. But there's a lot of new cards in here that I've not really seen. And I know a lot of you guys haven't seen him just yet, so we're going to go ahead and, and jump into it, uh, into the deck, and then the, the game will start uh, after that. And if you guys want to jump ahead, it's down in the description below. Alright, so Witch's Oven, uh, one mana, sacrifice a creature, create a food token. If, that, if the sacrifice creature's toughness was four or greater, create two food tokens. They do have Mayhem Devil in here, perfect, okay. They also need to bring in Chandra in here. Cranko is fun, though. anyway, okay. So, uh... Just going through the cards we already know, that's good. I'm just going to go pretty quickly past them. Um, Arcane Signet, which is great. Golden Egg. Uh, this is kind of like the new treasure map type of feel is what I'm getting from it. When it enters the battlefield, you draw cards, so immediate value. You don't have to wait for anything from this one. You immediately get some value, uh, and then you can sacrifice it to, to add one mana of any color. Uh, so that's a pretty good, I mean, it's not a great mana rock for two, but like, and, and not only that, but you have to pay for it as well. Uh, but you can also sack two to gain three life, so it becomes food as well. Um, but you get to draw a card off of it. So I, I do like it, the fact that it, we get to sacrifice a permanent, which also uh, draws cards and get counter on that. Really great with Corval. Um, all these ones here. Savvy Hunter, I think, is going to be one of those like next, like really just a valuable uh, three drop. Like it's, it's the new three mana uncommon card that's broken, kind of like Risen Reef. It's not as broken as that, but whenever it attacks or box, create a food token, which food you can pay two to sacrifice it and, and gain three life, or sacrifice two food tokens and draw a card. That is the value I think that comes from this, is that it's a it's something that will attack or on blocks gets you gets you uh, ad, advantage to draw more cards. And so I think this is going to be something that we see lots of play in uh, standard. Um, not a lot of new cards in this so far. Baked into a pie, four mana, destroy target creature, create a food token. Meh. Uh, Death Sprout's really good. Uh, and Sir Sir Conrad Grimm. This is one of my favorite cards from this new set. Uh, and, and we'll go over it again. I did it on the last one, but whenever another creature dies or a creature card is put into the graveyard from anywhere other than your battlefield or a creature card leaves your graveyard, Sir Conrad the Grimm deals one damage to each opponent. Just, dude, it's so good. That's There's so many opportunities to do damage. It's like... The aristocrats but you can also mill them for damage and so we're going to be doing that at some point or mill yourself for damage if you're playing a creature deck um there's just there's just a lot of fun stuff you can do with this and then each player puts a top card of the library into the graveyard and great uh enters up two treasure tokens yeah that's fine keeper of fables uh whenever one or not or more non-human creatures you control deal combat damage to a player draw a card so a cat we get green cat we might have to do cats again sometime uh Moldran Recommission is good. Um Ace of Blood, each player sacrifices three creatures, you create three food tokens, and then math. Uh I, I'm not as impressed with this deck overall. I think that it's gonna be somewhat powerful. Like I, I think that the whole thing is you have to keep Corvald alive and just get get value from drawing so many cards, but you're also losing board state 
at the same time, which in some cases is good if you have things like Sir Cobalt, but I don't, I don't like, uh, I, I am a little bit hesitant whether or not I like this deck as much as the, the Knight's deck. The Knight's deck was just like, this is a sweet deck. It's going to be powerful. I know that. Uh, there's some like, inter like, there's a lot of artifacts in there that are pretty dead without the commander, but as soon as the commander hits, bam, you've got a sweet turn available to you. And so this one is one of those, like, it's more of a grindy value type of engine. Hopefully we keep Corvold alive and keep and make him into a, a you know, a 10-10. Uh, and we hope we'll just have enough removal to kind of kill their stuff. That's that's kind of the way I'm seeing this one going. Uh, and so we'll see how it does. So let's go ahead and get into the gameplay, see how this does, and wish me luck. All right, against uh, Guerrero. I, yeah, this guy. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone play the fairy one yet, which I actually think is going to be pretty powerful um we got a mulligan this free mulligan always gonna take that uh paradise druid perfect this is exactly what we're looking for uh looking for savvy uh, paradise druid into savvy hunter great mask of immolation with her as well um we're ramping up to uh corvold sweet uh, being able to gain life but mostly we're wanting food tokens to be able to sacrifice to the to corvold to draw cards i'd rather sacrifice food for, for card draw rather than life gain almost any time keep seven Go Gary Gold Gate past the turn. Sorry, my, my computer's going a little bit slow. I think MTG Arena is also running a little bit slow at the moment. Um So if it feels slow, it's because it is. Alright, Paradise Druid go past the turn. Find finality will be finality will probably be pretty pretty good against their deck as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, I did not click that. What the crap is going on? All right. Savvy Hunter. Um. Yeah, I know it's Axe. Pass the turn. I think it's also because I added my cat. I haven't, I haven't had the cat in a while, but it's so pretty, you know? We gotta get to the right colors. We're black. Anyway, that works. <laughs> Alright, Knight of the Eben Legion. And Massive Immolation. Can't kill Paradise Druid at the moment. If we find land, though, we have Corvald. And then we can maybe sack our own Paradise Druid. Temple of Melody. Alright, so we get a Scry. I'd like to find red mana if possible. Arcane Signet, we can keep on top. Do we want that? Yeah, I think we do. All right, so we, we need some sort of ramp uh, as an ability here. Let's go ahead with Ors Hav Enforcer. Knight of the Even Legion is going to be able to swing in. And I'd actually really like to get a... Uh... Mm. I want to get the food token so we can sacrifice it to Kovald. Let's go ahead and swing in. I mean, if he's willing to trade off his creatures, that's totally fine. So, he can trade off here, here, for the or one guy, and we get just the food token. We get to use our find uh, for something good. So, there's not really a downside to this. Yeah, down to 24, and past the turn. We weren't sure if we are going to be blocking these guys anyway. Now that we have Death Toucher, we're going to be hesitant to swing in. Yeah, pay two and sacrifice it to gain three life. I feel like that's a little bit expensive for a food token, but it's cool. We still call Lance. Are uh, they stuck on three mana? That would be great. If we can keep them away from their getting their commander. Okay. I pass to my turn. Uh, do we want to go for anything else? No, let's just go forward the commander. Play Corvald. That's really cool looking. <laughs> Sacrifice the food. Uh, we're going to swing with both these guys again. Bring them up to 5-5. Five, five, or I guess I said both. Just this guy. And he scooped it up immediately. I think they probably could have stayed in that game a little bit more, but... Uh, that is a really big guy that's just going to get so much value, lots of card draw, uh, 
that was an early scoop in my opinion that was cool all right against corin Siechland. so <laughs> I actually, uh, my internet like totally died on me in between the last game and this one. And so I got through half of the game. It was sweet, but didn't work for us uh, because everything died. <laughs> but uh, we're going to keep this. This looks good. Um, so what happened was I, I went, grabbed a 100-foot Ethernet cable from a friend, got it all set up, plugged in uh, in like... 10 minutes so <laughs> all right here we go gilgate go past the turn what are we up against alayla i have not seen this deck whatsoever yet i'm really excited to see what happens other creatures you control with flying get plus one plus so uh certainly imperial eagle is going to be in here um let's go ahead and just get out this uh dread horde invasion stomping grounds into rhythm of the wild would be nice to get in a three four lifelinker is not terrible at all with death touch and ramps up for a Corvold. Piece of the Forgotten Gods. I'm going to go for the Rhythm of the Wild here. This way we can actually play Leyline with haste into Priest of Forgotten Gods. They're going to get out their commander. Yes. Dude will be fine. I think we're doing some pretty big plays here. This is actually awesome. All right, so... Um... Oh, we don't have enough black mana, though. Oh, this is any color. All right, yeah. So any color. So they land Prowler with haste. Let's crease the Forgotten Gods with a with haste. And we could sack both of these guys just to kill Alayla. We have black mana that we want to spend stuff on right now. It's possible we draw into something good. Oh, that's a tough choice. Let's pass the turn. See if they go to respond with anything first. If they play another creature, we'll go ahead and kill it. Kill Layla. This way they're already spending their mana. The issue with killing a commander is that it only helps so much. Whenever you cast an artifact... Alright, so maybe we do need to kill it before they create a token. Because that is extra value. Yeah, Smothering Tithe. Alright, so yeah, we will go ahead and sack this. Target them. So they do get another uh, player thing before it because of this, but... We get to get rid of their commander. Get rid of value. Smothering Tithe is insane, though. We're going to be drawing lots of cards. They're going to get lots of value because of it. Alright, create another token. Um, you can pay for it and create Mayhem Devil, or Krinko, or play our Commander. I mean, I, I guess Commander is always the way to go, right? Especially with Haste. A Command Tower and go Hasty Boy. Hasty Boy. Uh, yes, with Haste. We get the draw. They're going to get another Treasure Token, man. Smothering Tithe. Ooh, so good. But we also get to swing in for quite a bit. We have lots of value. We have lots of card draw to give them more value to, though. Um, Swing in, swing in. We don't have any creatures we're going to have. So, yeah, just swing in here. I may sacrifice another permanent. Estimate zero this time. Uh, submit zero. Oh, it's I just have to sacrifice another permanent. That's actually kind of annoying. And we really want two tokens or like, man, I don't, I don't know. All right, box with the one one. They have plenty to play a Layla game, which has death touch. We can bake into a pie. It's so fun to say that. <laughs> Destroy a target creature, create a food token. Uh, have something else to sacrifice to the Corvald. So that's actually a pretty good way to go for us. The issue is that they can play her and then play an enchantment or artifact. Um, yeah, it's cast cost modify to, uh, to uh, six mana because of the commander attacks. 
Alright, Ancestral Blade. It's a 1-1. One, one. I think they're realizing they don't want to sacrifice too much stuff because of Priest of Forgotten Gods. So that's that's okay. I think we're going to bring out Mayhem Devil and Krenko. Just try to get the value out there. We actually can bring him in with haste. Uh, they can kill Krenko that way. But then we can Priest of Forgotten Gods, Mayhem Devil. Or one of the tokens. So yeah, this is actually pretty good. Uh, decline. Um, swamp. Oh, we don't have enough mana. Franco with haste. We have mana off a of Priest of Forgotten Gods. So we could go that route as well. All right, play Krenko with haste. All right, we're gonna let um, Krenko's ability resolve first. We can double block Krenko to kill it. But we can also make them sacrifice one of these guys uh, by using Priest of Forgotten Gods. So, sacrifice a goblin token. Give them even more mana. I mean, they could have, like, settled wreckage or something here. So much mana. Yeah, decline. We want this. We definitely want Krenko alive because it helps us turn on Corvald every turn. Um, for the soldier. So they're going to get even more mana, but we also grow uh, Corvald quite a bit here. So sacrifice. They also have to sacrifice a creature. Man Devil would have been really nice there. Decline. I, mean, I guess I guess we can pay for it because uh, now we have pawn right. Yeah, we're gonna decline. I have so much mana. Sacrifice is there. Yeah, gets to block the damage. Baked into a pie. We get a food token from that. No, that's that's fine. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, So we pay for it from here because we have the extra mana anyway. And then pull in right druid. And put an extra counter onto these. So uh, with a counter. And then proliferate. Ooh, that's so good. Submit three. Discard. Rugged Highlands. I'm expecting them to go kind of crazy on this next turn with how much mana they have. Yeah, so discard Rugged Highlands. Cryptic Caves is... Maybe it's not worth having. We do get to draw a card and grow the Core Vault, so as long as we can keep uh, any flyers off Battlefield, which with Priest of Forgotten Gods and Mayhem, De Mayhem Devil, it's a very big possibility. Lots of one damage triggers that we get. If we can also find, like, Judith, that would be pretty sweet. All right, Alayla, they have six mana left. That's, that's a little bit. They can create maybe quite a few other flyers. Which baked into the pie works there. Dude, I love the name of that too. <laughs> so funny. Uh, Krenko's creating so many tokens for us. And Dreadhorde Invasion, which we don't care about really at this point. Angelic Exaltation. Ooh, all right. That's fun. That's way too slow of an animation, by the way. All that glitters. Very good. Alright, so this is perfect for us, though. Alright, do we have enough to play... A resolve and decline. Alright, so this is how we're going to do this. May we have lethal as long as we do this right. We have to hold full control throughout all of this. Um, 
Actually, Orgs of Enforcer kind of helps us out, doesn't it? All right, may... Oh, we don't get to kill... A Mayhem Devil... with haste. Play uh, Cryptic Cave, why not? Savvy Hunter's not terrible, but this is what matters. So we sacrifice, we get the two extra mana, and we kill here. And along the way, we kill these two guys with Mayhem Devil. So use this now, yes. They okay, submit. Sacrifice Pawn Bright Druid and this submit. Grow our Corval. Yes. King. Uh yes. They resolve. Decline. Resolve. Klein. They're getting a lot of mana. If they have some sort of removal, this is annoying. At the same time, though, we're also going to be able to swing in for quite a bit of damage overall. Um, I'd get some pingage. Um, Klein. Let's go ahead and bake into a pie the Alela. And there we go, got the scoop. Sweet! All right, so... <laughs> oh, man, that was that was a fun game. <laughs> All right, we're not going to dive too far into uh, these games uh, because I'm wanting to... There we go. So we got the level up. Fairy Vandal, which I think is going to be a pretty good card, actually. Flash Flying, whenever you draw your second card each turn, put plus and plus encounter onto Fairy Vandal. Uh, I think fairies are going to be really powerful. I think that there's some good card draw in there. Uh, so Esper Fairies... Uh, that's going to be a fun one. Or Esper, just in general. Um, I really don't know what's going to happen with these cards. It says that we should be able to have them at some point. Or be able to play them now. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to end it here because um, I'm wanting to make sure that we get into uh, doing all of these ones today. So I'm going to record a bunch right in a row. Uh, but uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much again and bye-bye.